Good morning, everybody. How's the weather today? It's a little bit cloudy, but it's okay. View is great. Ocean is beautiful. We are staying at Kanehide Kisei Beach Palace Hotel in Nago City. This is the second time we are staying here. This is a very nice hotel. Great view. At the convenience store in Okinawa, you can find this one, Asa Suba. It's a morning noodles. Suba is a Okinawan dialect. It's soba. It's very good for breakfast. I really like this one. Itadakimasu. My breakfast. The gentle dash flavor is really comfortable for my breakfast. Mmm. 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 I love Okinawa soba. Today we are going to go to Yambaru area. Yambaru is the most remote area in Okinawa main island. It's a northern part of Okinawa. Along the way, we are visiting Michinoeki, a roadside station, to eat local foods. We heard there are many, many local foods there. And we hope there are some great views along the way. Good morning everybody, we're just about to begin our day but before that I have to make a payment to my accountant and so I have to do that online. In fact, we're always on the road so doing things online is the most convenient for us and so this is the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor Atlas VPN. So what exactly does a VPN do? One thing it does and very very important to us is that it protects our sensitive information from those trying to steal it from us. It also prevents hackers from hacking into your account. Remember earlier this year this happened to me? Well, never again. So let me turn on my VPN. Okay, payment to my account safely done. Even at our hotel, usually they provide public Wi-Fi, but public Wi-Fi is never that secure. So we prefer logging in using our VPN. Atlas also gives access to unlimited devices so I can uh, use it on my iPhone, I can use it on my laptop, and Satoshi even has it installed on his desktop. Also in my spare time, I like to indulge by watching shows on Netflix and sometimes you know there are shows that cannot be accessed from Japan. Well that's easy with a VPN. I usually log into Canada and I can watch some of my favorite shows. They are currently running a Black Friday deal, you can get Atlas VPN for only $1.70 per month with an extra 6 months free and a 30 day money back guarantee. It's a limited time offer so get yours quick. Click the link in the description below this video and get Atlas VPN for yourself. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stop by the first Michino Eki, which is a road stop station. You can find these road stop stations all over Japan. They have the best, I mean best Sata Andagi on the island, period. So we're just leaving Nago City and we are going to Kyoda, which is where the Michino Eki is located. Alright, so we've arrived at Kyoda uh, Michino Eki. It's one of the most beautiful Michino Eki, I think. The view of the ocean is spectacular. It's a little bit windy today, though. I love this place. Me too. Look, beautiful ocean. Emerald green ocean today. So like I said, we always come to this Michino Eki on every trip to Okinawa. I love this place. You can get you know, a lot of local things like the local meal, tempura, bentos, sandwiches, and of course, my favorite sata andagi. A little bit sad. I know. Because they're closed today. Today, closed. Oh my gosh, they're closed. Oh, I'm so sad. Mm, that makes me so sad. That's okay. You know, th there's a kamaboka place, fish cake place, right next to the sata andagi store. 
and I guess we could try something from here. So we decided to pick up a couple of things from the fish cake shop called Hokama. And I got the Mozuku fish cake. Uh, mozuku is a local seaweed which I love. But, itadakimasu. Mmm! Oh! Yum, yum, yum! Mm. In addition to the seaweed, you also have like carrots and green beans inside. Mm. Very, very bouncy. It's deep fried. It has lots of flavor. So delicious. I love that they serve it on a stick so you don't get your hand dirty. Mm. Mine is shrimp wrapped with fish cake kamaboko. Mm. <laughs> it's very oily, tasty kamaboko fish cake, but not only that. The plumpy shrimp plum is really nice, very plumpy and very shrimpy. Couldn't resist. This place selling fresh tempura. All, all items are only 80 yen each. Very popular shop. It's simply called tempura. You can find it. It's located at this Michino Eki. And they close at 6 p.m. or until they run out. So you should get here early if you want to try this tempura. Benishoga tempura. Benishoga is pickled red ginger. Benishoga tempura is one of my favorite things to eat. It's very rare to find this in Tokyo. Mm -mm. So much ginger inside. It's red ginger and onions, sliced onions. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. Right. So I chose the Mozuku one. If you come to Okinawa, I recommend you to try Mozuku tempura, the seaweed. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Not only Mozuku inside, you can see lots of vegetables. Green vegetables, maybe it's carrot, orange one, and Mozuku. Lots of, lots of Mozuku. Mozuku. The oceanic flavor. I didn't put anything like salt or soy sauce, but it's already tasty good. Mm. Actually, here in Okinawa, you don't need to put anything on the tempura. They are meant to be eaten as a snack here. So they're already seasoned. Oh my gosh, I'm so satisfied. <laughs> Very satisfied, are you? I'm satisfied, really satisfied. My brown Kamaboko. Oh, your prawn kamaboko. That was amazing. It was. <laughs> it really was. I, I, I think that was my favorite too. Anyway, we are headed to the next Michino Eki. We don't know the name of it. We don't know the name of the city either. We just know that there is a Michino Eki with really good local food. So we are headed there right now. We've been driving for about 30 minutes now. We are in Ogimi village. We stopped by at this lookout point. The view from here is beautiful. Look at the ocean. I have been once this area, but I don't remember well because at that time there was a typhoon. Um, I was rushing to the Cape and come back. I don't stop here. I didn't stop here and I don't remember well, but now I know how beautiful this area is. Surprise, 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 we found a Shikwasa Park. Shikwasa is the citrus fruit in Okinawa, indigenous to Okinawa. In fact, we included that Shikwasa juice in our care package for the holidays. Look, there's a Shikwasa machine. What is this? Shikwasa faucet. Oh, oh. Shikwasa juice is coming. So this is 100% Pure shikwasa juice. Oishi. Oishi? Is it diluted? Diluted and 
Maybe you did a little bit, a little bit of sugar. sweet in the... Ah, I see, I see. Mm. <sighs> oh, it's so good. So refreshing. This is the real Shikwase fruit, guys. Look at that. That's what it looks like. Fresh Shikwase. I just want to know this village, Ogimimura, is the, 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 the place for Shikwase. Shikwase. Yeah. Mm. Most of the Shikwase is made here. They not only sell the Shikwase juice, pure Shikwase juice, they have a, a sweets made out of the Shikwase juice, they have jams. You can also learn about how they make the juice. Something we learned today is that they actually use the, the skin of the Shikwase for the juice. We didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah. I, I was thinking just the juice, like yeah. lemon. Yeah, yeah, me too. No wonder it has that, you know, you can uh, taste a little bit of bitterness, bitterness yeah. in, the, in the juice. And that bitterness is really good. Yeah, it's very good for you. We always have a bottle of Shikwasa juice in our fridge and we're almost out, so perfect timing. We got ourselves two bottles and we got ourselves some Shikwasa juice as well. Of course, we also had, uh, we also bought one of the Shikwasa cake that they had on sale. We're gonna be enjoying this later on. Oh my gosh, okay, so we are at the next Michina Eki. It was literally one minute away by car from the Shikwasa park. And yeah, we're gonna get more food here. So we're here at Ogimi Michi no Eki. Another wonderful place. I mean, it's right in front of the beach. It's, it's so beautiful. Look at that, she's taking a selfie. Isn't this beautiful? It's so beautiful. What a luxurious view. <laughs> <laughs> luxurious view, it certainly is. Yeah. Same as typical roadside station, Michi no Eki. Here is a restaurant, of course, information center, cafe, souvenir shop which sells local products and restaurant. Of course this place is special because it's right across this beautiful beach and of course this place is where the Shikwasa is grown. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Really fun. We always end up sp spending so much time at one place, you know. <laughs> Hopefully we get to the end, our, our destination, which is like way up north. That's a very, We're still very far very big away. Problem. <laughs> yeah. We also want to give a shout out to Ben and Jen who have been watching Tabi Eats for over five years. Thank you so much. Thank it was so such much. a pleasure meeting you guys inside the shop. I mean, what a coincidence. We're gonna try one of the apple bananas. Hmm? I've never tried apple banana. I, I, I've had them in Hawaii before. Really? Yeah. I wonder if they're the same. It's beautiful. Oh, it's good. Is it different from like the regular bananas? Slightly different. Yeah? The aroma is a little bit different. Like, no, really? Like a citrus. Citrusy? Really? It's not meaning not, not sour. Mm. It's a essence of a citrusy aroma. What is it? Don't you think You're so? You're right. Hmm? And the texture is different too. Mm hmm Now, yeah, well... Hmm. 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 It has a more complex flavor than mm. like your normal mm. banana, mm -hmm. whatever a normal banana is, but it's oh. delicious. Mm. Delicious. Guys, we have arrived at the third Michinoeki of the day. Uh, what is this place called? Kunigami, Kunigami, Yuyui Kunigami Michinoeki. Yuyui Kunigami Michinoeki. And this is deep in the Yambaru area. Uh, we're way, way up north of Okinawa, the mainland Okinawa. This is a pretty big Michinoeki. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, this actually is quite big. I'm looking at the map of the place and there are quite a lot of restaurants and shops here. So in addition to a tourist information center and restaurant facilities, here you have a children's playground, you have a food court, of course you have the shopping center where they have local products, and it's surrounded by all this nature, nature of Yambaru. 
You know, I've always wanted to come to this side of the island, the Yamabaru area. This is actually a national park and we decided to have lunch here. I got my lunch from a place called Sataya and I got their most popular dish. This is the pork belly noodles, Sanmai Niku Soba. So this is basically Okinawan noodles with uh, this uh, pork belly, uh, simmered pork belly. And you got some egg here and some red ginger. And I put some koregusu on top, which is Okinawan chili pepper. I got a side order of jushi, which is um, mixed rice. And the noodles come with one small sata adagi. Okinawan donut. Itadakimasu. Let me try the soup first. Ah, uh, oiso. It's a clear type of soup. Oh, it's good. You know, I love trying Okinawa soba from different places. The Okinawa soba on this part of the island is, I think, different from like the Okinawa soba you have in Naha, for example. This one, I, I taste more of soy sauce flavor with a katsu bonito uh, dashi. Oh, this is the curly type of noodles, thick curly noodles. Nice bite to it, a really good flavor. I think I like this one more than the one I have in Naha. Ah, you take a bite of this. You got three pieces of meat in here. Mmm. It's so soft and tender. Mmm. Mm. And you really need this um, layer of fat here. You know, you really need that because all the flavor is in there, but it's so tender, it just kind of melts in your mouth. It doesn't taste like fatty or anything. Mmm. Tamagoyaki. What's it? This is kombu. Not seaweed. Mmm. Oh, mm. It's very refreshing. Yeah, you, you just um. It doesn't come with the, the the ginger. It comes on the side, so you can put some if you want. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Almost forgot about my rice. This is my juicy Okinawan style mixed rice. It's different. It's different from the juicy um, that I've had before. Mm. So many ingredients in here. There's like kombu, deep fried tofu pouch. There's like pieces of chicken in here, green onions, shiitake mushrooms, carrots. Mm. It's pretty hearty. But we ate lots of local foods, but one dish we haven't tried is miso shiru teishoku, miso soup set. In Tokyo, miso soup is just miso soup. It's set aside of rice. But in Okinawa, miso shiru is bigger than rice bowl. And lots of, lots of ingredients. They use so many ingredients inside. Sent up, it's egg and tofu. Wakame, konnyaku, and lots of lots of vegetables inside. This set comes with this miso soup, huge miso soup, and rice. On top of rice, there's pickled plum. First, I want to sip this soup, miso soup, as it is. Mm, 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 mm. The miso has lots of lots of flavor. This one includes so much ingredients like vegetables, the many flavors came from these ingredients. This one. So much, so much. It's like a meal. Mm. 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 The soup flavor is for me it's mild, not super solid. I think it's Okinawan tofu. Mm. 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 I love Okinawa tofu texture. But the firmness is very nice. Yeah, like this. Ooh. Mm. Mm. The miso flavor and the egg yolk flavor combines really nicely. And it's changed the flavor dramatically. Okinawa's miso soup uses rancho meat inside. Mm. Mm. It's good. Maybe this flavor goes through to this miso soup. So it's blended with the dashi, original dashi, and the pork flavor. When I lived in Hawaii, 
I actually used to put Spam in my miso soup. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it was just a me thing. I used to do that all the time and it tastes really good. And like Satoshi says, the flavor of the luncheon meat or Spam permeates through the miso soup, giving it really flavorful, making it very flavorful. And you know, I, I, I do that. I gotta say, you know, this place is so peaceful. You know, eating here in the open air, in this food court, surrounded by the Yambaru Mountains. One of my dreams have come true. That was a very satisfying meal. Everything we've eaten today was very good. Now we are on our way to Hedo Cape. And it's around 20 kilometers from here, I believe. 20 kilometers? 20 kilometers. It's already 3 p.m. I don't know we can get there today. Of course we can. <laughs> of course we can, don't say that. Okay, we're about 10 kilometers away from Hedo Cape. And Satoshi decided to stop to look at the ocean. It's like, I mean, the ocean is like right here. If it is sunny, Shinichi would say, it's so beautiful. But today it's cloudy, so uh, maybe he's thinking it is a little bit spooky. Yes, um, there's like a, it's like a sense of foreboding. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> So we've been driving for about 25 minutes. Uh, on the left side, it's just all ocean. Very, very beautiful. Rough, rough seas today though. So the waves are pretty high. And you know, because I don't swim, I don't know how to swim, you know, it kind of scares me a bit. But I've always wanted to come on this side. Um, it's one of the most remote areas of uh, mainland Okinawa and I'm just glad that we're almost there. Okay, so we're just about there. Hedo Cape. So we arrive at Hedo Misaki. This is the north end of Okinawa main island. It's wild area, very wild area. You can see uh, rocks and ocean and over there, wow, the interesting shape mountain. Now, this area, the Ambaru area, is the nature heritage site. I read this bird is a symbol of the connectivity to that island, Yoron Island. Former days, there is a borderline between here and the, that island in Okinawa there are many many places to pray peace and this place is one of them this is a place I wanted to come for the longest longest time and I'm finally here and it exceeds my expectation it really really does it's a overcast cloudy day today so I can imagine how beautiful it would look like so much more beautiful if it was a sunny day but even, you know, on a cloudy day like this, it's really, really beautiful. I'm like, my, it's taking my breath away. I really, really want to, to climb that mountain. How do you think, Shinichi? Climb that mountain? Uh, it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll wait at the hotel for you. Just be careful. You can go up, you can go up by yourself. So from Cape Hedo, we could see uh, a statue of a giant bird, the Yambarukuina, which is the, uh, the bird that's indigenous to this area. And we heard that it's a lookout, so we're going to see if we can get there before the sun sets. We've arrived at the observatory. Can you see big bird behind me? That is the, that is the bird called Yambarukuina, indigenous bird to Okinawa. Uh, yeah, this is, once again, we're at the most northern tip of Okinawa, a place I never thought I would visit. So glad that we got to do this today. This was a fantastic day. Thank you so much for 
driving us here. My, my dream has come true. My dream has come true. <laughs> Definitely come back. And I do want to explore more of this Yambari area. Me too, me too, me too. I want to climb that mountain too. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, guys, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember, we have made a lot of videos of Okinawa. I think it's pretty obvious how much we love Okinawa. If you miss any of those videos, make sure to check out our Okinawan playlist. The link is in the description below this one. Also, don't forget to take advantage of Atlas VPN's Black Friday offer. $1.70 per month plus six months free, 30 day money back guarantee. Link is also in the description. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye guys.